30 everyday things you never knew the purpose of. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. I'm sure there are a ton of things in your life that I can't explain, but today it's all about the answers I can give you. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our brand new content. Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a moment to shout out to our viewers. These are a couple people who commented on our last video. Thank you so much for watching. Gas arrow. Take a closer look at your dashboard and you might see a small arrow next to the symbol for gas tank next to the gauge. Some cars have this to help you remember which side of the car your gas tank is on, which is amazing because no matter how long you have your car, it's impossible to remember which side to pull in when you fill up. It must be some kind of universal amnesia. Chinese takeout boxes. These really should be called American takeout boxes. They were invented in 1894 by Frederick Weeks Wilcox. There's as much Chinese about them as there is Japanese about the California roll. Anyway, I digress. They were never meant to be a deep well for us to fish out noodles or rice from, awkwardly using chopsticks. They're actually just meant to stay as a box for transportation and then be folded out into a plate for mealtime. Talk about a mind opener. Soda can. The soda can is not a device we consider to have a ton to it. It's just the tab, open the tab, drain the contents. But turns out the little tab has another function up its sleeve. If you swivel it around, it becomes a straw holder, which prevents that mystical straw rise as the bubbles drive it out of the can. Pot handles. Why on earth does every pot have a hole at the end of the handle? While it's a nice idea to hang your pots and pans if your kitchen looks like a home magazine shoot, us have ladled out far too much misuse on our poor ironware to ever have it on display. So these holes just seem silly until now. Turns out they're actually an ingenious design for you to rest your saucy spoons while you're cooking. Now that's what we call getting a handle on the mess in your kitchen. Fabric patch on new clothes. You know that extra piece of material you get on an item you just bought? It makes sense that most people think it's for patching, but that's not the intention. It's intended for diligent laundry types to test their detergents on their new threads. But show us one person who has actually done this and we'll show you a liar. Skid marks. Ever notice that there are small marks between your tire treads? They have a purpose too. This is to give you a clear indication when your tread is too smooth. Not only can you get hefty fines in most countries in the world, but it's also a matter of safety for yourself and everyone else on the road. So keep an eye on this one and don't drive bald. Pen cap hole. We would never have thought the hole in the cap of a pen is a failsafe in case they get swallowed. Yeah, you heard right. The minuscule chance of someone swallowing a pen cap hole and getting it lodged in their throat is the cause of this design, so that the person could still breathe through the cap. Converse holes. On the sides of the Converse All-Stars are two extra lace eye holes, and their purpose has been a mystery that has audiences split. Most believe the most obvious reason is the correct one, added ventilation, and it has its merits for sure. Conversely, others believe it dates back to their original use as basketball shoes, and using some creative lacing, you could increase the ankle and arch support of the shoe. Fruit stickers. Turns out these little plastic stickers are packing a lot of info right before our eyes. We know they mark the country of origin, which is nice to know if you're trying to make more sustainable choices, but then there are often numbers, and here is where it's good to know how to crack the code. If there are four numbers, and the first number is four, then wash the fruit, as it was likely sprayed with pesticides. If you find five numbers, and the first is nine, it's classified as organically grown. But if the first number is eight, then the fruit is genetically modified. Keep your eyes peeled so you can make an informed choice. Bumps on the F and J keys. This one is for most of us that didn't go to typing school. Did you know that your index finger is meant to rest on the F and J keys on a keyboard? Well, these little bumps help you recenter all the time so you don't need to look down. Pasta spoon hole. So you know the claw-like pasta spoon? The one with the teeth and the hole in the middle? Well, that hole is about to blow your mind. It's the perfect size to measure out one portion of dry spaghetti for the average person. Tic Tac single dispensers. Turns out we've been eating Tic Tacs all wrong. To get a single serving of Tic Tac, in other words, for those who like one at a time, though I'm not really sure those people exist. Anyway, should this ever be a scenario, the Tic Tac lid is actually perfectly designed to dispense just one bean at a time. All you do is turn it over and then hold onto the clip of the lid and kind of hold back the rest of the box so the lid stays open, but in the same position as it was. 
The donut hole. Most people think the donut ring shape has a holding or stacking purpose, but it's even more practical than that. The old donut is hundreds of years old, and at this point, you didn't just stoke up the oil pot to a perfect 175 degrees and drop in some donuts. It was a challenge to get the edges and the center to bake equally. So, bakers came up with this ingenious solution for an even bake throughout black grating on microwave windows. This isn't just to obscure the view of your defrosting TV meal, but it's there to prevent microwaves from escaping. It's called a Faraday shield. Bobby pins zigzags. Another thing we've been using totally wrong, most people wear the grooves facing out, but they're designed to face towards the head, creating a firmer grip on your hair screwdriver that work with wrenches. If you need a little more power behind your screwdriver, take a wrench the same size as the handle and slide it over to give you a better grip and more power to turn. The hole in a padlock. The tiny hole next to the lock in a padlock isn't just random. It's there to keep the lock dry by draining out water or keep water from freezing in it and breaking the lock. It's also the place to put oil to maintain the lock. Wooden coat hangers. Wooden coat hangers aren't just a status symbol of the elite. They preserve your clothes. The wood they are typically made from is cedar wood, which repels bugs and moths with its scent. So no holes in your designer numbers. Notebook margins. Margins in books became a thing for such a weird reason, and it has nothing to do with leaving a place for your teacher to scribble. Apparently, back in the day, rats and mice liked to nibble on paper. So, to prevent any important information being lost, it became popular to leave a border around the page. Hat pom-pom. A pom-pom adds a lot of pizzazz to your beanie, but they originated in a much more practical way. In the 18th century, French marines wore them to protect their heads from hitting the low ceilings of a ship's cabin. Dimples on golf balls. Turns out that golfers began noticing that old, bashed-up golf balls worked better than smooth, brand new ones. So golf ball manufacturers weren't getting the sales they wanted as golfers held on to their balls. These wily business operators decided to design a new look, complete with artificial dents, that we now call dimples. Thick part of cables. These odd plastic rolls on a cable are chokes or ferrite cores, which are magnetic iron oxide surrounding the cable to stop high frequency electromagnetic interference, like the type you use to get on a speaker when a cell phone goes off. It stops similar interference in monitors and other devices. Stripes on headphone jacks. Their stripes are linked directly to the wire making the speakers or headphones on the other side stereo. If there was only one stripe, sound would only come out of one side. The blue side of an eraser. Most of us were told it's for erasing ink, but it's actually far less glamorous than even that. It's just for erasing pencil from heavier paper or to erase smudges the pink side left behind. Lines on a box cutter. These score lines are actually where you can snap the blade off and have a fresh, sharp blade again. To snap the blade safely, take the plastic back cap off and slide the blade into the narrow slot on the rounded edge. Then snap the blade in one direction and it will make a clean break. Put the cap back and you're done. Groove on coins edges. In the 16th century, coins were made from precious metal. So it was common for criminals to skim small amounts off the edges of the coins, barely noticeable, so they could palm off the skimmed coins at full value. To stop this, grooves were introduced on the sides of coins, which was called reading. Even though coins are no longer more valuable than the metal they're made from, reading is still popular in coin design. Detachable headrests. Did you know the reason headrests can come off might one day save your life? They're designed to detach completely so that if you are ever trapped in your car, you can use them to easily smash the windows with the metal bars. Silica gel packets. The packets you get with shoes are actually kind of cool. They can absorb humidity in an enclosed environment, so keeping things dry by sucking and storing any damp. Start collecting them, then next time your phone gets wet, put it in a bag of silica packets. It works way better than rice. The hole in the McFlurry spoon. This is McDonald's efficiency at its best. The spoon slots into an attachment on the McFlurry machine that turns the spoon like a whisk, stirring your favorite McFlurry flavor into the ice cream. Then, when done, machine attachment releases and spoon detach, and you get a ready-filled spoon and one less cleanup item from McDonald's staff. Can you add to our list of items you never knew the purpose of? Share your experience with us in the comments below. 1. Keyboard Feet 
So those steps at the back of your keyboard are not actually to make your typing posture more ergonomic. There is no proof that a tilted keyboard is better for your wrists. It's there to angle the keyboard up for better visibility. Hmm, is anything real anymore? 